the MCU really is on its last legs. It's really interesting. I don't even see the major YouTubers that used to cover these things even doing reviews of Loki season two. It's like nobody cares about it. And after the debacle of the first one, I mean, it makes sense. And of course, as these shows have gone on with Ms. Marvel, which nobody liked, Secret Wars, which nobody liked, it's it's really becoming a problem. They have characters that nobody is interested in. They have writers that don't understand how to make something for people to enjoy. And it's just been a constant spiral. Well, now the box office predictions are starting to come in and actually show the truth of what's about to happen to this MCU. I wonder if we're even going to get to this, like, quote, new Avengers, where it's an all-female Avengers circa Ghostbusters 2016. Do you guys remember Ghostbusters 2016? My God. Here we are. Let's take a look at the news. My name is John Della Rose. I'm a number one best-selling author and an award-winning comic creator. And by the way, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. About 50% of the people who don't watch or who do watch these videos uh, aren't subscribed to the channel and I would appreciate you coming and hanging out with the rest of us. Uh, we have a great community around here and we absolutely have a lot of fun together. So thanks so much for that sub. All right. This is my subscribe star too, which I'd also like you to subscribe to. Um, it has uh, my work on here. So I'm building my own universes. Uh, I've got some fantasy stuff. I've got some science fiction stuff. I've got superhero world. It's all beautiful and I'm working my tail off just for you guys. So we want to fight the culture war. If you want to support the channel and support our creative efforts, I would love for you to come on here. Uh, give me ideas for what you want to see, uh, exclusive uh, videos on writing, exclusive videos on anything. Uh, we are here to service you. Uh, unlike Marvel, unlike DC, we understand that like what you want is what's important here. This is an entertainment business, and I want to service the customers. That's the most important thing out there. And uh, thank you guys so much for being so loyal over the years. All right, here's the news of the day. The Marvel's box office predictions already in decline. Uh-oh. A new report claims that the box office projections for Marvel Studios' upcoming The Marvel films are already in decline, according to John Trent from Bounding Into Comics. He reports from Deadline that the box office analytics from Quorum projected two weeks ago showed the movie would bring in about $90 million on its opening weekend. Not good for such a, like, high-touted film, uh, you know, Brie Larson's epic comeback. Oh, my gosh. However, outlets show that the four-week leading tracking for the film coming in at $75 million to $80 million. That is a decline of 11% on the low end and 16% on the high end. Those are big, big drops uh, that they're showing here. For comparison, Captain Marvel's opening weekend showed a week opening weekend of $153 million, uh, with $426.8 million at the uh, domestic box office. So that's really absolutely crazy. We're seeing a drop of half. Uh, to uh, the second film in this franchise. Now, usually the second films in these trilogies are actually the ones that bring in the most money. If you look at how things go, uh, people get very excited, say, about Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. They loved the first film, and so they come back for the second one, and the second one really crushes it. That's what we used to see. But because these movies are doing so poorly, and because, of course, they're making these strange Captain Monica Rambo uh, characters that nobody knows who they are and nobody's really interested in, uh, you know, they are just shooting their franchises in the foot. Kamala Khan was not a success. People didn't like the show. Uh, it was boring, and the character is not something to write home about. And so, of course, they have the same problem going on there. Brie Larson herself is just completely unlikable as an actress. She's out there, and everybody saw how bad Captain Marvel is. They they ran a cynical marketing campaign uh, where people wanted to check it out because of, like, of course, all the YouTube uh, drama that was associated with it. That's not going to work a second time because people saw that movie and they realized, oh, this was crap. And so, of course, they're not going to come back uh, in when they come for the Marvel's box office at this point. It's pretty obvious to see. And seeing that 50% decline uh, for the first movie's opening weekend as a project as a projection is a very, very telling tale for the MCU. Half the audience has already tuned out. What's going to be left at this point? All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.